Multi-messenger astronomy is astronomy based on the coordinated observation and interpretation of disparate messenger signals. The four extrasolar messengers are electromagnetic radiation, gravitational waves, neutrinos, and cosmic rays. They are created by different astrophysical processes, and thus reveal different information about their sources. The main multi-messenger sources outside the heliosphere are expected to be compact binary pairs black holes and neutron stars, supernovae, irregular neutron stars, gamma-ray bursts, active galactic nuclei, and relativistic jets. The table below lists several types of events and expected messengers. Detection from one messenger and non-detection from a different messenger can also be informative. Networks The Supernova Early Warning System SNEWS, established in 1999 at Brookhaven National Laboratory and automated since 2005, combines multiple neutrino detectors to generate supernova alerts. The Astrophysical Multimessenger Observatory Network created in 2013, is a broader and more ambitious project to facilitate the sharing of preliminary observations and to encourage the search for «sub-threshold» events which are not perceptible to any single instrument. It is based at Pennsylvania State University. Milestones. 1940s – Some cosmic rays are identified as forming in solar flares. 1987 – Supernova SN1987A emitted neutrinos that were detected at the Kamiokande 2, IMB and Baxan Neutrino Observatories, a couple of hours before the supernova light was detected with optical telescopes. August 2017 – A neutron star collision in the galaxy NGC 4993 produced the gravitational wave signal GW170 817, which was observed by the LIGO Virgo collaboration. After 1.7 seconds, it was observed as the gamma ray burst GRB 170817A by the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope and Integral, and its optical counterpart SSS 17A was detected 11 hours later at the Las Campanas Observatory, then by the Hubble Space Telescope and the Dark Energy Camera. Ultraviolet observations by the Neil Gerald Swift Observatory, X ray observations by the Chandra X ray Observatory, and radio observations by the Carl G. Jansky. Very large array complemented the detection. This was the first gravitational wave event observed with an electromagnetic counterpart, thereby marking a significant breakthrough for multi messenger astronomy. Non observation of neutrinos was attributed to the jets being strongly off axis. On 9 December 2017, astronomers reported a brightening of X ray emissions from GW170817, GRB170817 A, SSS 17 A, September 2017, announced July 2018. On September 22, the extremely high energy about 290 TeV neutrino event IceCube 170922 A was recorded by the IceCube collaboration, which sent out an alert with coordinates for the possible source. The detection of gamma rays above 100 MeV by the Fermi-Lot collaboration and between 100 GeV and 400 GeV by the MAGIC collaboration from the Blazar TXS 0506 plus 056 reported September 28 and October 4, respectively was deemed positionally consistent with the neutrino signal. The signals can be explained by ultra-high energy protons accelerated in blazar jets, producing neutral pions decaying into gamma rays and charged pions decaying into neutrinos. This is the first time that a neutrino detector has been used to locate an object in space and a source of cosmic rays has been identified. <laughs> 